Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna be testing products from Wish.com. If you're not familiar with Wish, it's a website where you can buy products for very, very low prices, like suspiciously low. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers test them just to see if they even work or if they arrive or what's the deal. So I was very curious to see how camera products would do. So I got some, I got, all right, so I got all the products here. I really thought that this stuff would take forever to ship, but some of it, was really, really fast. Some of it still hasn't arrived and it's been like a month. So it's kind of hit or miss. But let's take a look at what we are going to test out. All right, so the first thing we're testing is these little iPhone lenses. I've seen these at Urban Outfitters, places like that for like $20. This one was only a dollar on Wish and it has three different ones. Let's check them out. So we got a fisheye, macro, and wide angle. But it looks like there's only two in there, so. So a macro, if you aren't familiar, is good for doing very, very close-up shots. Okay. okay, that's not really macro. That's more of a wide shot. So this is with the iPhone. This is, it probably focuses, let's see. So the edges are a little bit blurred and like, dark yeah it's like very very distorted on the edge so this lens was kind of interesting it did have a macro level of focus so if you got really close to it your subject would be in focus but it was still a wide shot which is not really flattering if you take a picture of someone at this angle it's just gonna make their face look really big and kind of odd like this okay so it's actually kind of cool as like a really wide shot selfie <laughs> It, I'm in focus here. When we use it the other way, it's like not really in focus. Then we tried out the other lens in the kit. So this one says fisheye lens, but it also says macro. Which will it be? We're about to find out. Let's put this lens on. Okay, very blurry. This, what is going on? We're not really getting a clear picture here. Yeah, wouldn't recommend. Um, I think it's just, not very good quality and that's why it's not working <laughs> can't really see anything so would i pay a dollar for this for the little wide angle yeah i, I kind of like the wide angle one but no more than a dollar so next we're testing this mini camera dolly which will help you get a really nice smooth shot so this one was 16 dollars on wish and normally there's somewhere between like 30 and 100 dollars. so let's see if it's still any good okay that's it I mean, it looks okay. Should be good, honestly. Online, it had this little like ball head mount thing, but it didn't come with that. So all we have is this little screw to secure the camera. And I've kind of found that it's like not really gonna fit. Like you, you need something to kind of mount it up a little bit. So we're gonna just have to use like a little G7X camera. So the wheels are definitely trying to go random directions. Let's try and use this dolly, okay. Pretty good, actually. It's a little bit, um, there's like a little bit of friction, so if you don't go quickly, it's not really that smooth. Like the wheels just wanna stop. So once we had the smaller camera on here, it actually did work pretty well. And if you had that mount attachment, you could put a DSLR on it and I'm sure it would work great. I would say for $16, this little dolly is worth it. Next thing I got was the ultimate accessory bundle. So this came with two lenses, a little tripod, some lens filters, an external flash, and a little cleaning kit. It just seems too good to be true, seeing as the cheapest lens on Canon's website is still $125. It's just like, okay then, how could we get two lenses and all this other random stuff for only $50? Let's check it out. Okay, so these lenses on the listing, they say that they're for a Canon T3i, T4i, T5i, ADD, whatever. But when I opened them, I noticed that there was no way these would actually fit onto my camera. So a lens, when you normally take it off, it looks like this. As you can see, there's like this silver part that's clearly made to attach to something that we don't have on these other lenses. This isn't really gonna fit onto anything. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe there was something you're supposed to attach, maybe there's something I can buy to attach it. Either way, it did not come with said attachment, so we're gonna try and test it without. So to test it, what we're gonna try and do is just hold up this lens to this lens and see if it looks Bad, good, so we hold it up here. So when I initially held the lens up, it obviously didn't fit. So I had to zoom it in a little bit to get more of the look that it so would have. hold it up 
and it looks okay. I mean, it doesn't make it look like noticeably worse from what I'm seeing. It's definitely like not gonna fit this lens though. But this is with it all the way zoomed in. So if I go like this, like it's not really gonna fit. So this kind of lens wouldn't fit a full frame camera like this. So this one actually looks pretty good. I'm not sure how it would look if we didn't have this lens in the middle here, but I really think that if this was a terrible lens, that this shot would look worse. But it, I don't know, it looks pretty good actually. Okay, so now we are going to test the flash. I have an actually pretty expensive flash to compare it to. This one costs $300, so it's a much better quality external flash. So we're gonna shoot a few pictures on here in the dark, and then we're gonna shoot some with a really cheap one just to compare it to. So yeah, let's just shoot some. Okay, let's see. Excuse my messy room. Okay, so with this one, you get a nice look. It really brightens up the whole room, the whole background. Everything looks really bright. Great for like event photography and stuff like that. So we have the cheap flash on now. Let's take a couple pictures, see how it looks. Oh, it's not great. It's not looking too good, guys. Um, yeah, wow. It reminds me of an old digital camera from like 2005. Yeah, or even just like a little film camera, like a little, like disposable camera. Overall, this has a very amateur look. So all in all, the camera kit, I wouldn't really recommend. It is really cheap, but the lenses aren't really gonna work. The tripod, I don't really trust. This is annoying to do. The flash, it worked. It just wasn't very good. The cleaning kit, I'm sure is great. So overall, the beginner's camera kit, wouldn't recommend. Dolly, pretty good. I'd recommend it. The iPhone lens attachments, for a dollar, I mean, yeah, why not? All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Comment down below which product you would want the most out of these. I would say the dolly, like the dolly is kind of fun to play with. Like that smooth shot is just so satisfying. Like it looks so good. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Just click the red button down below. Follow me on Instagram, I'll have that down below. I'll see you in my next video, bye.